Hi, my name is Mike Barmundi, and I am a business development manager for IGL in Seattle, Washington. Today, I wanted to talk about a quick way to turn any x86 device you might have in your home, Intel, AMD-based, PC, or a Mac, into a work-from-home device using the IGL operating system and VMware Horizon. Let's get started. This is an IGL UD Pocket. An IGL UD Pocket is a very small USB device, as you can see here, you can plug into any USB-A port. And it creates like a dual boot scenario where it allows you to boot off this into a secure IGL operating system, leaves the underlying OS intact, and then allows it to be managed um, by a one pane of glass management approach called the IGL UMS. So I'm going to show you how to do this on a device that I have here at my house for VMware Horizon. Let me switch over to my laptop and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So this is my wife's laptop. Um, here's the IGL uh, UD Pocket. I'm going to quickly plug it in and I'm going to just reboot the computer here to boot into it. So the biggest operational lift you're going to see when actually running the IGL UD Pocket is educating your users on how to boot from USB. Dell, Lenovo, HP is, has this well documented, but uh, it could be something that you would uh, potentially see as something you'd have to train them on. Once the users are able to boot their device from USB, you can see here there's multiple different boot options. IGL supports most uh, standard options like legacy boot, UEFI boot, and even secure boot. So here I'm going to quickly choose a USB storage device. And you can see here I am now booting into the iGel workspace. So the iGel OS is a read-only secure operating system. Um, it, it, it has multiple features that you can enable, ones that you can disable to create a secure environment. And its main core purpose is to create an avenue or a vehicle for your apps, data, and workspaces, wherever they may be. It's purpose-built for this, like VMware Horizon. So as you can see here, the IGL OS is booting, and now I'm into the session. So quickly, I'm going to move over here to my uh, PC, and I'm going to show you exactly what the IGL UMS looks like. So here, you can see on the left-hand side um, uh, the different options you have here, and there's a lot. But let me give you a rundown of exactly how this works at a high level. So it, wor it works very much like Active Directory does. You create a a series of different profiles based on the features and options in the IGL operating system. And then you create a unique directory structure. These profiles and options can then be applied to the devices that you have in these folders. So as an example here in VMware, I have my session that I've created using the VMware client that's built into the IGL OS, some wireless options. I'm doing things like NTP. These are all being set on the device as it boots. As you can see here is the device listed with multiple different um, data points that come in that you can actually use to report on and do different things with. The other cool feature of the IGEL UMS is the, is the ability, especially in a work from home scenario, to connect to a user and to shadow them in a kind of a remote assistance or remote desktop kind of view using uh, VNC, which is a uh, remote display protocol. We also do this in a secure methodology if needs be, meaning we use certificates to encrypt the connection all the way through. So I'm going to quickly click, click connect. And you can see here, I am now in to uh, that laptop and I am shadowing it from the IGEL UMS or the Universal Management Suite. So here um, I have my VMware Horizon session automatically set up where I can connect to it. It's automatically logged in. You can see here it's getting all my resources. I'm using VMware's test drive um, cloud, which is a very cool option if you want to test drive, you know, connecting to different uh, types of workspaces or even applications. Here, I'm going to quickly just click on the Carbon Black Cloud, which gives me access to uh, the desktop that's part of this demonstration. You can see here when I double click it, I am now logged in and ready to work on my Windows 10 uh, desktop from uh, the Carbon Black piece here, which is very cool. I can also close this. I can also reopen this again and connect to, again, a different app or even a different desktop that allows me to quickly open this up and, and connect to this. So obviously a lot of these options can be set from the IGEL UMS side. The other piece is here, you can actually create what's called a kiosk or an appliance mode that allows your, you to actually configure the VMware Horizon client to actually automatically go into a desktop or an application without seeing any IGEL information once it boots from the UD pocket, which is a very cool piece to do as well if you want to create a seamless secure experience. So that's a little bit about how exactly um, the uh, VMware Horizon client works on the IGEL OS. I'm going to stop sharing and 
go back to myself. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this demonstration and gives you a little bit of an idea of how to use any device to work from home using VMware Horizon. Please stay safe. Thank you.